Oh, I got one. I got one. What the heck? Dude, this is the smallest fish ever. That's another one. That's another one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Hey, old folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel, guys. Comment of the day is popping up down below, so go ahead, make that subscribe button turn gray so you can be in the next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here at Walmart doing the Christmas gear only fishing challenge. And what does that mean, Norm? I'm about to tell you guys, be patient. Okay, so the Christmas gear fishing challenge means basically anything that looks like Christmas to me is what we're getting. So that could be like red and green lures, like Christmas colors. In fishing lures also maybe if something looks like a Christmas ornament maybe an elf or a gingerbread man or Santa or something whatever it looks like that we're gonna buy and we're gonna try to catch fish on it today pretty loose rules I guess just kind of like whatever I think looks Christmassy we're gonna buy and take out to the water also guys we are on the road to 250,000 subscribers so go ahead hit that subscribe button for me please and I don't know if you guys remember Devin exactly a year ago he caught a 10.3 pound bass it's coming back the 26th the day after Christmas I was thinking it'd be cool to do like a big fish series with Devin when he gets back if you guys want to see that let's get this video to 3,000 likes and we'll make sure to go hunt some big bass December 26 be ready for that but Walmart Christmas lures watermelon red's gonna be a huge player in this and whatever else looks Christmassy we're gonna buy tie on throw in the water hope a fish eats it let's go all right guys we are here in the Walmart fishing section the goal now is to look for fishing lures that look like they are Christmas themed I actually did a quick little Google search on the walk in here let me show you guys real quick in case you didn't know what Christmas colors were because I don't know what they are either they are green and red the two obvious ones but also Gold, white, blue, and purple are the six colors of Christmas according to my Google search. So every single lure we pick has to have those colors in them. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to limit ourselves to five lures. I think that should be good. Five lures should be cool. So start with soft plastics. Oh boy. I mean, dude, just right off the bat, watermelon red. We already knew before we came in, I'm not going to buy only watermelon red. I'm going to limit myself to like maybe two things watermelon red at max because I think that would just be too easy. But check this out. It's super cold outside right now. It's winter time. <laughs> I guess it's winter time. You're, you guys already know that. Okay, but there's a watermelon red finesse worm. So this is like even smaller than the trick worms, which for winter time bass, obviously like smaller things I feel like. So downsizing in the winter is always good along with moving your lures slower. So this is Christmas themed. It's smaller and I can move it slow. That fits like the three categories of what I need for today's challenge. So this is going to be Lure number one to start us out. All right, lure number two. Oh, look at this. Dang it. If I was not so set on not only doing watermelon red, watermelon red flukes look exactly like Christmas. I can't do it though, I can't. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold up. Watermelon red, I almost forgot these worms even existed. <laughs> if there was like any Christmas color worm, or if I could only buy one lure in this challenge, it would probably be this one, guys. If they probably told the guys who designed these worms in the color, make it look as Christmas as you possibly can. Like this thing right here it has green on the outside. It's almost like see-through green with red sparkles on the inside. Oh my gosh. If I didn't buy this worm for the Christmas challenge, I would just be wrong. So <laughs> we now have two packs of worms. Gonna try to mix it up in all different categories. But I think we got two pretty good picks here. Watermelon red and then also like just the obvious green and red worm. So guys, right here, we have not watermelon red, but watermelon red flake. I want to get something else besides worms. And it looks like if we're going to go with a creature bait or a craw, that right here we have this river bug, which could be good in the watermelon red flake. And we also have the rage tail craws in watermelon red flakes. So guys, out of these two packs, which one would you get? The craws or the bugs? I think today I'm going to go with the bugs because the spot we're going there isn't really a lot of natural craws there that I've noticed so I think this might be the best bet and it's smaller in the winter I like to throw smaller lures rather than bigger ones so this should be should be good so guys we have three soft plastics right now I feel like we limit ourselves to five so the next two have to be like a moving bait or some type of hard plastic so moving on we got this whole entire wall to find the two most Christmas looking lures that we can find check this out okay this might actually be a really good one guys so so we have red hooks a white bottom red sides and blue on top which also surprisingly was a christmas color on the google search so this meets all the requirements for christmas colors this rattle trap right here and 
I love fishing with rattle traps. So this will be absolutely perfect. This leaves us with one lure left to choose. So normally there's this color called Fire Tiger, which they have jerk baits for, but for whatever reason, there isn't any here, which has like green, red, but also orange, so maybe it wouldn't work. But the best looking jerk bait I could find is this dude right here. It has a little bit of like red under the lip, and then white was also a Christmas color, and it has white feathers on the tail too. So I'm pretty sure that this is like the best five lures we could find inside Walmart that match the Christmas theme, the rattle trap, the bugs, obviously the watermelon red trick worms. These ones that just look exactly like Christmas have to catch a fish on this today. And then a little jerk bait. So, so guys, we have our lures. It's time to go fish in the freezing cold weather with our Christmas lures and try to catch as many fish as we can on as many of these lures as we can. And hopefully something big will bite. We'll see you guys at the pond. Somehow the back of my truck just broke. This piece came flying off out of nowhere. I don't know where that goes. We'll figure that out later. It's not, it's raining. It's freezing cold again. Just know, I'm not even going to say anymore. Next month, it's just going to be cold. So, I know I say it every episode. I'm just going to stop saying it. Just assume that it's cold when I'm out here. Uh, we have the boat in the water. So, that's cool. The piece of my GoPro actually flew off the boat. So, I had to duct tape it. So, it's it's like makeshift waterproof right now. We're just running and gunning. But, <laughs> we are going to go out here in the freezing cold rain on the little boat we got a couple days ago. I still have yet to catch a fish on this in two days on the boat. Hunter caught one, and then the other day we went out, neither of us caught one. It's been tough, but hopefully this lake will provide for me today with the Christmas fishing lures. I'll put this truck up, come back, hop in the boat. Already tied on a ton of Christmas fishing lures. I will show you guys uh, kind of what I rigged them up on and go rip this lake. We're the only one out here right now, which could be really good or really bad. We'll see. I also forgot I put on a Christmas hat, so uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's up there. I did the whole thing and didn't even explain. We got a boat, we got a rainy lake. We got bass to be caught. Water temp, 50, 48 maybe. We we're also gonna teach Zay today how to drive a boat because I'm sitting in the front. He's gonna be taking me around and he has never drove a, uh, a trolling motor before. Perfect. <laughs> we're in working condition. We got all of our Christmas lures Brought three rods out, most of them Christmas colors. Uh, you ready, Zade? Your first little mini John Boat adventure, whatever this thing's called. We just have a $5,000 camera just in the tiniest boat while it's raining outside. Wow, what could go wrong? And we're off. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here on the uh, on the boat. <laughs> just bad idea. It's really, honestly, not smart of us to be doing this. If we flip, we will never financially recover, but that's okay. We're starting it out with the best Christmas fishing lure, in my opinion. That green and red worm also have the uh, the green combo right here. So we're in the Christmas spirit right now. I'm gonna start throwing this thing just at the bank, I guess, <laughs> right next to the the good old boat ramp. It's cold and raining, and we're trying to catch bass. We're the only ones on the most popular lake in Tallahassee right now. Guys, we're fishing right now shallow. There's a ton of docks and uh, trees laying in the water, which all provide warmth for these fish. It does get kind of deep out there, but I haven't found any structure like really out deep besides on the island, which we'll probably work our way towards. But in this lake, it's just kind of deep out there, but there's it's just sand. Nothing really for those fish to relate to, so I kind of like to at least start the day off fishing some of the shallow stuff. I was actually thinking for a second it wasn't raining enough, so good thing they decided to Make it rain twice as hard. Oh, I got one. I got one. What the heck, dude? It's the smallest fish ever. <laughs> dude, I didn't even think I had a fish because it was that small. That is the smallest fish I've caught all month. That might be a new record for the smallest fish I've ever caught my whole entire life. Literally, this is a small jerk bait, and he is still smaller than the small jerk bait. What in the world was this fish even thinking? Does that count as a fish catch? <laughs> Literally shorter than my hand. That is like the coolest looking basso ever. Uh, that's our first catch out here and that thing literally would be perfect for a pet fish. But I'm gonna go ahead, uh, let him go back. I didn't even know I had a fish on, dude. Sweet. Well, at least we caught something today. We didn't skunk today. <laughs> We're out here uh, throwing the jerk bait around the island, guys. There's a lot of, I think, actually, like, man-made structure out here, too. Like, people came out here and sunk trees, like, a long time ago. Trying to fish the edge of that with the jerk bait. Probably throw the Christmas worm around, too. And now it's, bring it on, Rain. <laughs> bring it. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. Yes. <laughs> Another one on the Christmas jerk bait. In the pouring down rain. That one is uh, not the smallest fish in the lake. 
Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Dude, the jerk bait bite might be insane right now. We're literally the only ones on the lake. The white and red jerk bait we found, guys. That's the second fish literally in two minutes out here at the island. We might have discovered a little cool bite going on out here and just a pouring down rain. Oh, geez. Guys, look at that beauty right there. That is definitely a nicer bass than the first one. All this offshore kind of like structure off this island. Like literally second twitch, he grabbed it. That is so cool. See you, buddy. I got so many more lures to throw, dude, but I don't want to put down the the, uh, the Christmas jerk bait quite yet. If they're biting it, might as well keep on throwing it. It's cool too, guys, because I never use a jerk bait here in Florida because a lot of the spots have just so much grass you can't get them through. But this pond in particular, for whatever reason, does not have a lot of grass. I need to change the settings on my bait caster. I keep on backlashing it. Oh, wait, I might just got smacked. I did another one, dude. What in the world? <laughs> Oh my gosh, now that one's definitely smaller. That's like a, the medium one. <laughs> yeah, guys. Oh, 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 quick release. <laughs> We're drifting right above, like there's a ton of trees, like a whole like chopped down forest is what I'm fishing above right now. And I don't know how well they can see any of that through the water. I don't know, there's a lot of structure out here for these fish, especially when it's like freezing cold and the rain's dropping. Dude, I've caught three fish on this and I need to put it down so I can fish with some of the other lures. Like the jerkbait was like the, one of the last ones I thought was gonna be the easiest to use. I thought the worms were gonna be super easy. Oh, I got another one. Next cast, next freaking cast. Oh, I lost some, no. Hold up, yeah, no, no, no. that's another one, that's another one. Oh my God, <laughs> dude, they're just out here in the middle on the structure. Guys, we're just working this jerkbait right above all of these logs and it's like, there's like 50 yards of it. That's another like super fat fish been feeding up on bait fish. Dude, I need to try throwing the worm at him, but like, oh, uh, I don't want to stop. <laughs> this little jerk bait is awesome though. I need to do this more often. Guys, these winter bass right now are just feeding out here and just what an awesome, like, these are some healthy fish too with big bellies on them. I mean, they're all on like that one. Maybe I caught one that was like close to two pounds, but uh, still so much fun on this little jerk bait out here. And it's not like I'm even casting at the bank. I love being able to figure stuff out like offshore, which doesn't happen uh, often. See you, buddy. I'm just gonna keep on casting, dude. Right out here, guys, is the edge of like all the structure. And we are, I mean, we're over a ton of structure right now. So I'm bringing this jerk bait right along the edge. Those bastards coming out and just, oh my, I just had another one. I think, I, do I have, do I still have one? I do. <laughs> Like, dude, what is what is going on? What is actually going on? Oh my gosh. How many in a row is that? <laughs> it's just absolutely absurd. That is so freaking cool. Just like that, we have put five fish together. Even though they're only one pounders and maybe even some are under that, still so much fun. We're gonna let this guy go real quick. Dude, if I, if I do like four in a row out here, I'm gonna go crazy. Where has this jerkbait been all my life? <laughs> I still have, I have four of other lures that I wanna try too. We'll try it, we'll try it guys, don't worry. Oh, I got another one. Next cast. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that is so freaking crazy. Oh, we might shake it off. That's a better one, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Guys, we have found the fish. That's like what's really cool about lake fishing is when you find fish on a lake, unlike a pond, when you find one, a lot of times there can be a ton of them. What in the world? I'm about to uh, to let this one go. We gotta tie in something different real quick. <laughs> See you, buddy. Nice. Well, guys, it looks like the trolling motor just died, so we might be hanging out here for a little bit more than five minutes. <laughs> oh boy, we're just kind of drifting with the wind. Trying to stay like slightly, you know, offshore so I can bring my worm over all this structure out here. Try to get something to eat it. That would be very cool. Oh, that's him, that's him, that's him. Oh, <laughs> yes, out there on the structure, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, my first one on the Christmas worm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> dude, what is this little dude even thinking? Oh, he's about to come off. <laughs> Yes, guys, look at that little dude right there on the Christmas worm. Heck yeah, we've just been drifting all over and there's so much structure out here that I mean, it would just make sense for a worm to work out there. So perfect. First one on the uh, the old Christmas worm, I think. And now what we have to do, see what else we got. Watermelon red trick worms, I think are uh, are up next on the to-do list. Oh, we also have the, uh, the red Christmas hook on here, which looks 
so freaking cool. One eighth ounce tungsten weight. It's it really is probably like seven, eight foot out there. I probably could go heavier, but uh, I'm just working it super slow. I feel like the most natural presentation in the winter is normally the uh, the best. So boom, here we go, all rigged up. I even see like wood that we're drifting over right now too. Perfect little finesse worm. On a Texas rig, normally I throw this on like a shaky head or something, but Texas rig should work. Nice, something else besides the jerk bait worked. That was so cool. Oh, oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude, dragging the worm behind the boat. Dude, we are going over so many trees right now and they are just cranking anything we throw at them. Where'd he, where'd he go? Oh, there he is, <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my gosh, dude. This fish doesn't even look healthy. He looks like he's been through it. He's like growing stuff on the top of him. His skin's like peeling. Ugh. That's the first like not so good looking bass we've caught all day. And it only took us a couple minutes there on the trick worm. Crazy looking bass right there. Has a scar on his tail. Jeez, sorry, buddy. <laughs> I almost feel bad catching this fish. <laughs> See you, man. Dude, holy cow. Guys, that only took maybe two minutes. All we have left is the bug in the rattle trap. I'm gonna tie on the bug right now and just do the same exact thing. Our trolling motor doesn't work, so we're just floating and I'm just dragging this stuff over structure out here and they just, they can't stand it. All right, guys, the river bugs. I'm kind of nervous about these, but at this rate, like, I'm just excited to throw anything down there. <laughs> the watermelon red river bug. Gotta break the little appendages right here. I mean, that thing should get munched. I don't see why it wouldn't. There's the rig. This thing would even be cool to throw like on a uh, like a Ned rig maybe, or even like a shaky head. But we're uh, we're throwing the red hook Texas rig. I think it'll still work. First cast, just gonna literally drag it. The speed that the wind is taking us behind the boat. They're just on it today for some weird reason. Ah, oh, just need one to bite this bog so bad. Cause then all I'd have left is a rattle trap. And I think the rattle trap with the way they're acting, they'll eat. This little bug though, hopping it through. You just gotta get it on the right little log where a bass doesn't like it. Oh, I just watched something hit it. <gasps> I just watched him eat it. I think he got it. Oh, that was epic. Holy cow. Dude, that was so cool. We saw him eating bait fish up on the bank. I threw my jerk bait in there. <laughs> and it's a better one too. That's one of the bigger ones we've caught all day. It's easy, like probably pound and a half right there. Holy cow. There might be more of them too. Dude, this jerkbait fishing thing is way too much fun. This might be one of my new favorite lures, especially for this pond. Look at that fish, guys, on this little rock ledge too. We're about to get into the cut. I'm throwing my jerkbait around until we get there before I have to try the bug in the rattle trap because the jerkbait, why would I put a lure down that has caught me probably 10, 15 fish so far? This is crazy. Oh, I just watched him eat it in the cove. Let's freaking go. <laughs> yes. Guys, it was worth coming back here, kind of. We just got cranked. Dude, that was a long, skinny fish right there. Super shallow water eat. Look at that. That is the biggest one today. Back here in the cove. That's crazy. How deep? They were like smaller. This one. Watch them eat it. That was epic. Nice, like probably one and a half -er in the cove. So freaking crazy, dude. Like <laughs> in the shallow water. And uh, we caught ourselves a very nice one right here. Let me go ahead and uh, let them go. Nice. Ooh, what was that? Oh, that's a fish. No way, why are they all right here? Dude, another one. What in the world? This was putting up a fight, dude. The jerkbait bite. I've never experienced a jerkbait bite like this before. <laughs> another solid one, dude. The size is definitely worth coming back in the cove. We are, uh, we are upgrading on size at least. Nothing massive yet, but dude, what in the world? Wow, <laughs> yet another beautiful bass right here, guys, on the jerk bait. I hope you guys realize too, like the last four or five days, haven't caught a, lot, a ton of fish. That's why I'm just having so much fun right now is because I'm finally on fish or finally eating something and I don't want to put it down. <laughs> that was epic though. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. It is now uh, dark outside. Zaid had to paddle us <laughs> pretty much all the way back. While I fished, I think we caught, I don't know, 20 something fish. I don't know how many you guys actually saw it in the video because it gets really repetitive catching them all on the uh, the three to five foot diving white jerk bait with the little white trailers with a little bit of red underneath and a little bit of red on the feathers of the trailers as well. That was absolutely crazy. I've never been on a jerk bait bite like that before. So obviously I had to keep on throwing it, but 
We didn't catch fish on two of the lures, but I think it was uh, well worth me catching 10 more fish than me trying to catch a fish on a rattle trap, which I do any video, every video anyways. So I had a lot of fun, guys. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Also, guys, have a uh, Merry Christmas or holidays. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Everything to help this video do better. And until the next fishing adventure, Fishbum, I'm out of here.